know that one auntie that comes through um and always dresses like this and the, the issue i have with diamond appear is she tends to dress up like her furniture in her house huh. gone oh loud oh uh, uh, shiny gling 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 it, it's giving togo at this point this is horrible medium impact and you cry i mean this is me we are pain in this love <laughs> hi everyone um, let's do it again sorry Hi everyone, this is your best friend Charlie Dior. Let's talk fashion. Next we have Wesley Kessie, aka The Walking Mannequin. Wesley Kessie is an influencer. This suit is by Sam Rich Classics. Um, this photo was photographed by Aim Photography. Listen, let me tell you. Kessie always comes through. Kessie, and it's such a it's such a proud moment for me when I see Kessie owning himself, you know, on the red carpet, on, uh, on at events, um, you know, because Kessie has been in the past <laughs> accused of stealing people's style, and I gave him a piece of advice. I said, listen, we all find inspiration everywhere, but. The key is to make it your own. When you when you see something that you like, when you see an inspiration, when you want to copy that, make it your own. Add your own little twist to it. And I think he did it here beautifully. He's rocking. He's giving us a sequence, well tailored suit, paired up with this silk line pants. Okay, and thank God he he didn't give us a, a heel boot. He gave us an um, executive lace black shoe to match i think he looks phenomenal he looks good he actually looks like he lost weight which i asked him i was like Kirsten, what you what you been doing because you look good he's gonna tell me oh he's on a diet child i can't i can't go on the diet i'll be hungry if you take out the tea and diet you're gonna get die okay i'll be hungry but back to this look kessie looks phenomenal listen and this he went to the ghana football awards so wearing this as a much and you see what I'm saying? This is how you should look. You should look like a star. You should look like you are being honored. And he was just a guest wearing this. So he, he I think he looks dope, 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 dope. Because he keeps keep giving us this type of looks. Keep serving us. Own your style. What did I say? Own your style. You look phenomenal. We will be buying this look with a lot of jewels. Next we have hey, Next <laughs> Next we have Ajete Anan Ajete Anan is an actor, a lecturer, an influencer He is an icon And a legend But this look is not legendary It is not legendary This outfit is by Looks like a good man that's the name of the brand and i thought this was ridiculous it's horrible it's ugly i do not like this i when i first saw this i said he looks like one of the big six look at who came back from the dead <laughs> and yo i don't like this it's giving kwame Nkrumah before the independence <laughs> The mixture of these two fabrics is a no-no. It doesn't, it, 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 it's not flattering on him. It doesn't look good on camera. And I'm sure it didn't look good on in, in, in person. I hate this look, I hate this look, I hate this look. And why are we seeing a peekaboo white shirt underneath the look? This look ages you, it overages you, you look older. Nothing is appealing from this. You are an icon and legend, but this is not legendary. I am sorry, Ajita Anand. This is the very first time we are um, <laughs> we are featuring you on the show. But I'm sorry. We will be burned in this love. <laughs> we will be burned in this look. I know. I know. It was horrible. <laughs> Next we have Capotana, aka Fantana, who is an artist. Okay, 
Um, she's also a young, famous African reality show star. Fantana is the it girl now, okay? On the gram, she's the it girl. She brought the fire um, uh, at the season two, young, famous, and uh, you guys want me on that show. I see the tags, I see the tags. I see the tax, okay? I feel like it would be very, very dope for me to be on the show. I will bring the drama. Oh, you trust and believe. Um, this uh, this um, photo was photographed by Accra Paparazzi. The Accra Paparazzi, which I have shot with him before. He's very, very professional. He's dope and he's very, very talented. So go and book him if you are in Ghana. I met um, Fantana once on the plane and I was, I was sweating a little bit. <laughs> Because we have featured um, Fantana so many times on the show And I really felt like she was going to give me the cold shoulders But she was very, very nice She was very nice We even exchanged contacts um, she's, she's very, very dope um, This look is cute This is a very cute look This is a very, It looks very affordable And one thing I like about Fantana is She mixes them She mixes the highs and the lows So you can see her wearing a, like a Kind of like a, a regular outfit like this that you can find a fashion nova or pretty little things but she will match it with a very expensive shoe and bag if not anything if not anything fantana will always serve you face if not anything she will always serve you lips if not anything she will always serve you um, hair if not anything she will always serve you body yaddy 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 that's why i'm like i'm i, I wonder how you know she the angels came down and held the, those boobs up. <laughs> the angels came down and held those boobs up for Fantana because, hey, this is dope though. This is cute. Um, But I want to see Fantana in avant-garde looks. I want Fantana to serve me looks. Like this is cute. Like like I said before, you can find this at your local H and M, your local you know Forever Twenty One, local you know Pretty Little Things, and all of that. But I want her to serve me avant garde. I want her to serve me high couture. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Do that for me, Fantana. I think you can do it. I think you were recently on the cover of some magazine as well. And you really look dope like that. I think you should you should give us you should continue to give us those kind of looks, you know, to elevate the brand. What you are saying to elevate the brand. This is Q. We will be buying this look. We will we'll buy this look at our you know fashion notice and all of that. We will buy this. So she's young. She's young. This is when this is the this is the time I uh, uh, what's what your idea with you. Because very soon she can't do this. Very soon, she, one day she will wake up and her boobs will be on the floor. You know. <laughs> It's in, this is the time her uh, she's young, her juices are flowing to be able to wear outfits like this. So we will be buying this look. Next we have not one, not two, but three sellers. Okay, we have Selma Mumim, we have Fela McCaffrey, and Efia Nocteno, and we have the battle of the camel. Oh yes. The <laughs> Selma so Mumim and Fela McCaffrey was spotted at um, there was a fashion film that went on a few days ago. Fashion film. Ah, yeah, invited me. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So let's talk about these three looks, right? Okay. So um, Selma so Mumim and Isia went the the easiest route. By pairing their camel with a, a a black top. Follow me on this. Follow me on this. Fela McCaffrey decided to go on a different route by pairing the camel with um, a leo leopard print top. Come on, man. And I feel like out of all of these three, Selma looks amazing. Hey. Makeup. Do you guys see the hair? Do you guys see the flowy hair? The way she styled this look was very simple, very easy, and it's good. On, 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 it's very easy on the eye. I love it. I love this for Selma. If you're not ten on, I don't know what's going on. She's nowadays she's been painting her face with pencils here and there. I don't know what is that. So it's giving tribal in the face, and then it's giving cargo. 
However, I I still like the way if you're nocturnal also styled it with the with the with the black top and the and the and the boots. It, it goes very well. It, it's very hard. It's very dope. The issue here is, Fela McCaffrey did not. It, the, there's no thought process. <laughs> I want to. I want to. I want to choose my words very <laughs> wisely. <sighs> Fela, it's it just. Fella owns a mirror, but doesn't but doesn't have a friend. Because we all need that friend to tell you, mm, I think you should change the top. You know what I mean? You, you know what I mean? Like once it, sometimes even when I dress up, I call my friends. I call Princess, I call Andy, you know, I call my friends, I call Roxanne. I'm like, how do I look before I step out? Because sometimes you need that. Your friend will tell you. And I think she needed that friend to tell her. Uh, change the top, change the shoes, change the bag. Because the way she even accessorized the looks did not, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it wasn't smooth. It didn't make sense. Because the, 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 the shoe is glam, the, the camel skirt is hard, the leopard skirt, the leopard top, me name the apple, so I felt like there was not thought process behind it. And, it, 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 and to also match it with the bad girl hairstyle, did not work for me. We will buy some a moment's look. We will borrow a fear nocturnal's look and burn Fela McAfee's styling of the camel. All right, let's move on to the next. And the next we have Nana Ama McBrown. Nana Ama McBrown is a media personality. Her new show is really, really picking up on on your TV with entertaining and interesting segments. Um, Nana Ama looks flawless. As you guys all know, Nanama is one of my favorite people. Okay, she's an icon, she's a treasure, uh, Ghana's treasure. And the color here, the outfit here looks phenomenal on her. The makeup, the hair and makeup looks good. Nanama enjoys the process. She enjoys the process when it comes to fashion. She enjoys the process when she sits in the chair, getting her makeup done, getting her hair done, getting fitted on, getting, you know, tied here, tied there, loose here. She enjoys the entire process and it shows. And it shows. I had a phase in fashion when I was obsessed with fringe. Okay, because I feel like fringe adds a little personality to the outfit. It adds a moment, it adds a movement to the look. And here we see her doing it here beautifully, matching it with the heels. She looks good, she looks good! She looks good! And when you look good, you look good. Now when I appear, do you see a real millionaire here? When you look good, you look good. Period. I don't hear period, it's how that's here. If you look good, I'll come and see here and say you look good. And if it's horrible, I'll come here, this same you and I'll tell you it's horrible. It's very, very simple. We are talking about fashion. We are talking about outfits. We are talking about style. Nanama, we will be buying this clothes. Next, we have Amarado Berna. Amarado Berna um, was spotted here. He took this picture to announce his new single um, titled The Hardest. And this look is not hard. Ciao. I didn't know Ash Form was making clothes, so. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Ash Form, we I didn't know. Ladies, ladies, ladies. I know why pads are now expensive. Because Amrado is using them as fashion, no? <laughs> Where do you know? It's, this outfit is giving me Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. Oh, yes. It's very, it's it's quite disappointing because I feel like Amrado is young, very talented, but doesn't give me the wow factor. Doesn't give me the stardom, the stardom status that I need from him. A while back, he posted on his Instagram. I think this was after the VGMs, and he he said he needs a team. He needs a manager. He needs the assistant, and he needs a stylist. And I pray that he finds one. Child, don't call me because I actually charge. I actually charge. I don't work for free. The styling here is very trash. No wonder he's even hiding his face. He doesn't even like the outfit himself. Let's pack those outfits. Pack it up, pack it up, pack it up, box it up. Let's call the delivery guy to deliver it back to wherever the f you found it from. <laughs> 
we will be burned in this love. Yes, you know. Quata, 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 quata. Next, we have Kudos Mohammed, who is a football player. He was spotted on the red carpet at this year's Ghana Football Awards. He was awarded the Football of the Year. Congratulations to him. Ah, why? Why? Are you going to a senior high school fanfare? Another person who didn't give a f about the night. The awards night. He didn't give a f He didn't care. You guys are stressing me. When I see it looks like this, it stresses me. You can fit anything. You have the body. You have. You are young. Like, what? Why? This is what I, I need you to do. Tuck in the shirt. Button it all the way up. Put a blazer on. Put an effort in the lock. <laughs> Seriously, put an effort in the lock. I don't like this. I don't like this. From the hairstyle to the to, to the to the shoe lelele. To the shoe lelele. Grab your matches. <laughs> grab your grab your kerosene. Grab your petrol. Grab your gas. Because we'll be burned in this love. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we have come to the end of the show. Another fashion review show, Instagram edition. Thank you guys. Listen, share this video. You know, post it on all the blogs. I don't care. You know, do whatever you want to do. Share this video, like, subscribe. Okay, follow me on all your social media platforms. Like I said before, Charlie Dior on Instagram, Charlie underscore Dior on Instagram, Snapchat, Charlie underscore Dior. TikTok Charlie Dior. Stay tuned though because I will be serving you guys more content. I know, I know. I'll try as much as I can to, you know, give you guys more content, okay? Listen, if you don't want me to talk about it, then don't wear it. I love you for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>